Okay guys, so I decided to make a dedicated Q&A because a lot of times I'll do answer these questions inside of these videos and people will never know how to find it, but there's always these most frequently asked questions, so I'm going to do a whole video just on your questions frequently asked and I asked you guys on Twitter. So if you aren't following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me there because that's where I asked everyone this time. Also, you'll note that there's a huge construction project going on next door that just happened to be today. So they got nail guns, they got generators, but you'll hear that. So um, I'm going to start off with frequently asked questions because no one specifically asked them this time, but I'm always getting them. And the number one question is what camera do I use? And the camera I use is the, fi uh, the Canon 5D Mark III, which is what I'm using right now. I use that with a Rode VideoMic Pro for the audio and a Tokina 11 to, no, 17 to 35 millimeter lens. That's what I use for all my videos. I like the nice wide angle shots. You know, it's good for when I'm doing like the selfie stick kind of thing. But it's also good for the landscape pictures. So that's the camera I use. I'll have a link for all the gear in the description below so you can see that. For editing software, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, which costs $20 a month if you're getting the CC version which is the new like, Creative Cloud version. So yeah, I pay 20 bucks a month for it. It's not bad for what I'm doing. But uh, those are like the two most frequently asked questions I get. On to more questions that I've got on Twitter. So this one's from Zombie Killer. How did you learn so much about photography? And when I was in, um, I went to community college for two years and I took a class in photography but I was so excited to learn more about photography and I just got a new DSLR camera that I actually watched all these YouTube videos um, specifically by this channel, Digital Rev TV and uh, I think they're hosted out of Hong Kong or Tokyo but they're really funny and I just watched all their photography videos they taught me everything I need to know about photography and really just watching YouTube videos is pretty much the simplest way I can tell you how to learn uh, photography uh, that and just going out and shooting all the time so if you do those two, you learn pretty quickly about photography. From 16mm Young Young, uh, Madison Young, what is the most memorable moment with the exploring crew? The most memorable moment. Hmm. The most memorable moment is any time we do, I don't, have, I don't have a specific one, but it's any time we do something that isn't planned that turns out to be the best thing we've done all week or all day. You no, know, San Francisco, and we found that beach. And we weren't planning on finding that beach. All we were planning on doing was going up to the top to find uh, a better shot of the bridge, but who knew we would meet this guy who watched our videos, and then we ended up running down this huge hill, finding this foggy beach, and this wasn't planned at all, but it was very memorable and probably one of my favorite days. Okay, this is a good question from Emily Rohde. Um, what do you take with you when you explore abandoned places? <clears throat> so I have a backpack that I use for all the places I go, that's also in the gear list. But I take a uh, LED light panel, which goes on the top of my camera, uh, that's also in the gear. I take a respirator, actually all of this will be in the gear uh, list below. Uh, I take a respirator for, you know, asbestos if there's bad stuff in the air. I take a LED light, I take my camera, tripod, um, Usually like some kind of sweatshirt, or something like that. Um, Band-aids now, I used to not, but now I take band-aids, sometimes you get cut. A water bottle, and that's pretty much it. Just the essentials. Angela Sky Media asks, what made you start exploring places? And the reason actually I started was kind of different than everyone else. Uh, when I was in, I think, high school, I was looking for a location for a short film and I needed some kind of like abandoned place and I never thought about going to a place like that but I went into, I was looking on Google and I was looking at Instagram and all these pictures of potential locations for a short film that I wanted to do and I just went to this place and I made a whole video about it and after that I was just hooked. I was like, these are so cool. These are places no one ever gets to see and it would be cool to document these places that are now rusted and abandoned. That's how I started. From Kayla Holder, what would you be doing if you couldn't do YouTube? That's a good question. Uh, I'd probably be doing what I was doing, which was uh, working for video production companies and photography, doing, doing videos and doing photos for a living. I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. I just like YouTube a lot better now. It's from Sylvia, or uh, Slinick. Hey Cody, uh, how are you? My question is, what's your favorite thing to do in your spare time when you're not doing YouTube? 
Um, I don't have a lot of spare time now that I'm doing YouTube full time every day, but uh, my favorite thing to do is actually to go see movies. Uh, I love going to the movie theaters. I'm actually going tonight. And I, when I wasn't doing uh, daily videos, I'd probably go to the movies once a week because I just love seeing movies, especially on the big screen. And that's pretty much my favorite thing to do. From Aaron Mecca, will you ever thoroughly explore any states? And uh, yes, I will. Now that uh, we've gone and done pretty much a general sweep of the whole U.S., uh, now I'll start to do more states more thoroughly. You know, a lot more abandoned places. Kind of working my way down the coast next. I think I want to do you know New Jersey. Uh, New York, Philly, get all the places around me done sooner. And then I want to do uh, Chicago, you know, all those places up towards the more north. And really just, you know, we missed a lot of places up north when we were coming back, so I really want to go back and do a lot of those eventually. Ali Guerrero, sorry if I butchered that, she says, first adventure. And I'm not exactly sure what she means by that, but if you mean abandoned place, it's what I was scouting for the location for a short film. And I'll actually put the link down below for the video. So this place had a water wheel, and it was called it was called the paper mill, and it's since been demolished. But it was cool. It had all this graffiti, and it was very urban. It's like the first place anyone goes urban exploring because everyone knows about it, and it's covered in graffiti, and anyone can just walk in there. And that was the first place I went to, which you can find the video down below. Oh, she also has a part two to that, which is how long have you been friends with the rest of the crew? And not as long as you would think. All my friends that you've seen recently, I've known way longer than the exploring crew, but I've just been exploring with these guys so much that we just became best friends. So I've known Josh since uh, February of 2015, and it's now August of 2016. So about a year and a half. Uh, Steve, I met actually in August of last year, so about a year now. John, I met, um, probably about June of last year. So I've known everyone about a year to a year and a half. Charlotte Hamo asks, uh, will you ever come to the UK? And yes I will, because apparently there's a lot of people in the UK who want to have a meetup. So I would love to come to the UK, do a meetup, explore some places, and just hang out in the UK for a couple weeks, maybe a month. Carrie's, Mc Carrie's McNeil asks, where did the idea of traveling come from? And I've always loved traveling, but I'd say, especially for this Iceland trip coming up, I really, I was really inspired by the movie uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, where he's working this terrible job, or it's not terrible, but he's working a job, and then he goes off on this big adventure around the world, and one of the places is Iceland, and it just really inspired me to travel and get out there and see things, because he, the, whole, the whole premise of the movie is he's trying to date this woman, and he's done nothing crazy, and as he's going doing all these adventures, this guy from an a online dating website is calling him, asking him what things he can add to his profile. And he's like, yeah, I just jumped out of a helicopter in Iceland. And this guy's like, oh my god, that's so crazy. And basically he's adding to the list of these cool things that he's done in his life. And that's pretty much what inspired me. Another frequently asked question that I get is, what's my favorite place that I've ever visited? And I'll do one for like just traveling, one for Bannon. And my abandoned one always changes depending on what video I watched of mine recently. But probably right now my favorite place I ever went to was uh, the abandoned uh, Gothic Cathedral. Where we were in this church and we happened to go at the perfect time. It was, it was early morning and so as we got in there the sun was coming up through the glass panes and there was colored lights throughout the whole place. So the, the colored glass, the colored stained glass was actually shining through this whole church as it was like er, bright and early in the morning and you could hear the birds chirping outside. It was just, it was just kind of a beautiful place to be. And as far as traveling, favorite place that I've ever visited, um, I'd have to say Koh Tao in Thailand, which is the island of turtles where I learned how to swim and I saw all the, the uh, whale sharks and, uh, not swim, I learned how to scuba dive and I swam with the whale sharks, and that was probably the most memorable and favorite place that I've visited travel-wise so far. That's all of our questions for today. As you can see, it's starting to rain and the construction is going mad over there. But that's all the questions for today. We're gonna have a lot more. Uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter so you can see where I'm asking my questions next and you can stay updated with what I'm doing. 
Uh, I'm gonna have a video out tomorrow, actually, for all the camera gear and what I actually shoot, so it's more in depth of everything. Um, I'll actually show you everything that I do, so if there's anyone trying to make videos or make a vlog or who's into photography, you can watch that as well. But uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.